Hello and welcome to another video from EarnPed.com. I'm Stevie B. Happy to have you with me. Today you will notice we are at the temple. I wanted to get it when I first got in from the load screen, so here we are. This is where we were yesterday when we were on Taloon, when we were talking about how the daily missions are actually hourly missions. And I apologize guys, I'm still getting over that cough thing that I've got, so I might cough in your ear a time or two. So first of all, let's pull up our map and see where we actually are. You'll see that we're down here at the very, very south at the Narian Temple in this PvP area. Now you'll notice the PvP area is pretty big, and we're almost directly in the center. And it won't really let me zoom in, but you can almost make out the outline of the temple right there. Kind of follow where my mouse is. It's almost like a bottle shape laying on its side. So we come up to the very, very top. I'll go over here to the ledge so you guys can kind of see how far up we are. When you first come in, there's some stairs that you just go up an endless set of stairs. So we're, uh, we're pretty high up here, as you can see. So I came in right over there, ran over here. There's an entrance, had to kill a couple mobs there. Same mobs I'm killing over here, they're the Kahafish. 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 I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it. <coughs> Sorry, like I said, getting over that cough. And I want to go ahead and catch this video because I am doing one of those hourly missions that's called a daily. I've only got to kill five more. But I wanted to show you guys something interesting. So yes, it is a PvP area. It's PvP non-lootable. I'm sipping on some hot cocoa today. It's Fireside brand, which is a small mom and pop brand. And it's blueberry donut, one of my favorites. So you'll notice, no a fragment. Run over here, no a fragment. So yes, this is almost kind of like a rig. Uh, almost like ashy rig on Cali. These Nawa fragments spawn here in the temple at the very top floor around all this Kafefish, or however you pronounce it. I'm horrible with these names, especially the Arabic ones. I thought the names on Cali were bad. Man, these are ridiculous. But these little Nawa fragments will randomly spawn kind of all over this little area right here. They tend to spawn pretty close to this little flower thing in the center. But they also spawn kind of on this little outer rim of grass also. So you just run around and you pick up Nawa fragments and you kill these Kahafish. And that's pretty much what you do here. Now we'll get into what the Nawa fragments do later. But right now I just wanted you to know that you can come get them here. Yes, there's other ways to get them in game. This isn't the only way. But if you're a free to play player and you're trying to find a good use of your time and you're like, hmm... What can I do? Well, I need to work on my codex for Kahafish, and I need to get my skills up, and there's an hourly for Kahafish, and Kahafish are level 4, they're not super hard to kill, uh, they're not super, super expensive to kill, and also if I want to get some Nava fragments at the same time, then the Narian Temple is maybe a place for you. Look, another Nava fragment right there. Okay, so we'll grab two more, and let's just see if we can run through here and see if there's any more laying around. Before we bounce out of here. Oh, there's some right there. There's some over here. Wow, they're just all over right now. Now, are they usually this plentiful? No. So, it's a good thing I made the video when I did. Because they're not usually just sitting all over the place. This bottle, ignore that. That's nothing. That's for some long mission chain from DSEC 9. Oh, another one right there. And that one's got three in it. Usually they're two. Threes are kind of scarce. So, yeah, I was able to just literally run around and get a whole bunch of fragments ju just now. That usually doesn't happen. If nobody's been here for a while, you'll be able to grab quite a few like that. Otherwise, it's going to take you some time because they have to respawn. So, I guess I just happened to log in at the right time when nobody had been here for a while. So, the reason that I specifically mention this, th this specific thing, as something that may be worth doing is a couple things. Because I know a lot of people are going, yeah, but I really don't want to waste my time doing that. Okay, well, first of all, I haven't been here too terribly long. Uh, I was shooting yesterday's videos and today's videos. I actually shot them all just now within the past hour. But shooting these videos, here's the fragments I got. So, three, two, two, 
two, one, two, two, three, three, three. I already had nine. So let's merge all stacks. So I've gotten 21 Nawa fragments pretty much in the past two times I've logged in just running around grabbing them all real quick. And if you notice just now when I ran all around, they really didn't mob up on me. They really didn't chase me. This one guy over here finally came after me. But the rest of them just kind of chilled. So also, <coughs> in addition to the novel fragments, because I know that's not a huge draw, look at the mission that I was working on. Okay, so let's check our mission log. And right here. And look at that. What is the reward? Increased dodge by 6 peck. Now I know 6 peck doesn't seem like a lot. And again, it's not when you're just doing it one time. But imagine doing this over and over and over, because this is, again, a daily mission, which on Taloon means, quote-unquote, hourly. And then if we look at Codex, um, I'm already on rank 3 of my Codex. And, of course, that's adding to my Meta Codex for attribute challenges also. So cool stuff there. Now, one of the things about this particular mob is from the information that I currently have, what I am currently being told is this is one of the mobs that drops one of the rare tinctures that is needed to make the Salafa MK1, 2, and 3 laser sights. Now, I don't know if it's the tincture for the Salafa uh, MK1, MK2, or MK3. I think it's the MK2. But uh, supposedly, it's a rare drop from these guys. And obviously, that is loot that would have pretty ridiculously good markup. So if you're going to pick a mission, and if you're going to do some free-to-play stuff, and if you're going to add to Codex, and if you're going to have to hunt things in the process of that, then going for loot that has ridiculously good markup is always a favorite thing. That's, that's like the starting point, is finding a mob that's got loot with ridiculously good markup, right? Now, that doesn't mean every single loot that you get from these mobs is going to be good. You're going to have your handful of TT junk also. However, if you can get your hands on those tinctures, then you're probably doing pretty decent. And even though I have not yet looted one, I haven't done a ton of killing either. I've only killed maybe 120, 130 of these things total. But, that being said, it would make sense that this would be one of the mobs that would drop those tinctures. Because of the fact of, look at where it is. It's in a PvP zone. Now, yes, it's PvP non-lootable. But it's still a PvP zone. It's somewhere that not a lot of people come. It's something that not a lot of people are willing to do. And this may not be people's favorite mob. The way it kind of moves is kind of annoying because it messes with the camera. But I'm actually kind of a little bit of a fan. I kind of like this little guy. I can't say he's my all-time favorite mob, but I can't say I'm totally upset about it either. Now, you will notice I am taking a little bit more damage than I would expect from a level 3 or level 5 mob. So, armor may be needed for a lot of players. Let's just see what kind of other loot I've managed to snag. Um, let's see, some bone. I'm sure that probably doesn't have any markup. Some hide. Not really any markup to speak of. Um, some paint can green. Some focus lens component. Uh, focus lens components have decent markup. Oh, well, used to anyway. Not so much at the moment. Usually the focus lens component goes up during mayhems. Yeah, it looks like the past month or so it's dropped off pretty bad. Not a lot of people need amps. Um, superior cloth extractors? Yeah. Not really anything super to speak of. So, needless to say, this is one of those missions that if you're going to do it, like I said, it's all about stacking when it comes to Taloon. How you stack it usually makes all the difference. So, I'm going to leave it right there for today. First of all, my pizza's ready. Got to go get it before it burns. But that kind of wraps up our video. We do have more content coming for you from Taloon, so stay tuned for that. We got a lot more really good stuff coming down the pipe. Sip, sip, smack, smack, and I guess now, cough, cough, y'all know the rest. Be sure and hit the like and subscribe button because there's always a hater hitting the dislike button. And be sure and head over to earnpad.com because when you earn, we earn. And that's by far the best way you guys can help support us. Take care, Stevies.